Good morning students. I hope everyone is doing well. Today in computer we will continue the same lesson that is lesson 6. Today we will learn how to create folders and how to save files into folders. Now students as you know folders helps us to organize related documents or files together and also help us to locate important files quickly right? Now one thing that uh, one thing you have to know that you can put different types of files in one folders or you can use different folders for different files. Example, you can store music files in one folder, photos in another and stories in another folder and so on. Okay, now I will teach you how to create folders and how to save files into folders, okay? So, folders can be created on your desktop in any of the storage drives or even inside other folders now to create a folders one way is to right click okay select new and select the option folders so right click select new and select the options folder here it is and now you just have to give the folder a name pick something short but memorable I will name this folder as SD school okay you can give any name that you want and press enter so if you want to rename the folder also you have to right click on the folder and select the option rename so let's do that right click and select the option rename and you can give whatever name you want but I will use the same name as the school okay now let's see how to delete the folders we'll follow the same steps right click on the folder and select the option delete now keep in mind that if you delete a folder you are also deleting everything inside that folder okay so now what I will do is within the school SD folders, I will create folders for each class such as grade 1, grade 2 and so on. Okay, I will show you how to create the subfolders. Now double click on the folders, maximize. Now we will create a folder, same step, new and folder new folder so as i said i will make a folder for grade one grade two grade three and so on so i will write the name as grade one you can give any name press enter same step new folder and i will write there grade two okay another way to create a folder is see you can see inside this folder right up new folders you will get this inside the folder so if you want click there and you will get a folder write the name there okay I will make one more so click on new folders right there whatever name you want press enter okay so these are subfolders of the SD school your parents folder okay your SD school will be your parent folder or root folder now similarly we can create folders of folders within each class for different sections for example for grade 4 I can make two sections grade 4 section A grade 4 section B and so on okay and you can store files containing information on the students in this sections within this subfolders all right so let's create two more folders sub subfolders inside this subfolder grade 4 so what you have to do is double click and you can write there whatever but I will give the name as grade 4 section A I will make one more I will click on new folder and I will write there grade 4 section B press enter now remember arranging folders one inside another helps us group files systematically an arrangement of folders into parents and subfolders is called directory structures okay so now let us learn how to save a file in its correct folders 
Suppose I made a name list for grade four A students in MS Word. Okay. So to save this file in grade four A folder, you will have to follow the steps. All right. But before that, I will tell you I have already made a list in MS Word for grade four section A, the name list. You can see the file. Just a second. Just a minute. I'm searching the file. <laughs> okay. So this is the file I made for grade four section A, the name list. Okay. Now I will show you how to save these files in the correct folders. So click on the Office button and click the options Save from there. Now remember where you save the folders. You save the folders in the desktop. I save the folder in the desktop. So click on desktop and search the folder name what was it sd school so search for sd school double click on sd school folders double click on grade 4 because i made a list for grade 4 section a so double click that folder double click grade 4 section a and you can write the name there whatever name you want i'll give this name as name list and click the option save now you can close the file and we will check whether it's saved in that folder or not okay so double click double click on grade 4 double click on grade 4 section a so this is the file now remember it is important to save a file in the correct folder this will save our desktop from getting messed up okay students you can also use the option of save as to change the address of a file from one folder to another or to change the name of your file in the same folders all right now uh, let's save the same files in grade 4 section b2 so what i will do is i will just open this and i will select the option save as okay so click on office button and select the option save as to change the address of the file now you have saved i mean i have saved the folders in desktop so i will select the options desktop and i will search my folder name which was sd school grade 4 grade 4 section b because i'm going to save there so write the file name there and click the options save okay so this is how you use the option save as to change the address of a file from one folder to another okay now let's check whether it's there or not grade 4 section a the name list is there grade 4 section b the name list is there i hope you are clear with the steps and let's close the folder see we observe that in many places like a classroom library shops and homes things are organized logically similarly we organize files and folders in a computer logically and when we work systematically our works becomes easier i hope you all understood to this topic that's all in computer today see you all in the next class bye bye take care